Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, Design Spark mechanical tutorial on the blend tool. I'm going to show you how to create some interesting bends and blends with that tool. Um, not going to really be doing drawing anything specific. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new design. And then we'll just draw some stuff so you can get an idea how to use that tool. So we're going to grab our uh, Octagon, six-sided tool. Okay, first we're going to draw one of those. Then we're going to go, we're going to pull that. So we'll give it a little spin. Click on it. Go to pull, and we'll just pull this out a decent amount. Then we're going to pan. Now we're going to go ahead and select just the edges of this uh, six-sided object. And then we're going to control C, control V. I'm going to grab the move tool. And we're going to move this out of the way. And we're going to move it over. And we'll give this a little spin to make sure that they're kind of, uh, I want them to be kind of far over so you can get a real good idea what this blend feature is capable of. So with it selected, we're going to come up here and say fill. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and pull. We're going to pull that out. Okay, now we have two shapes. And now what I want to do is uh, let's go ahead and pan this over so you can see. We'll go ahead and spin. So I want to basically blend this piece to this piece. And now what you need to do is go ahead and select this one. And then you'll spin, grab these. Oops, did I deselect? I think I deselect. Okay, so you want to go click that one. Spin around. Oh, how did I do this last time? Let's control minus to zoom out. Okay, well, let's hit the blend. We're going to go from here. Then we're going to spin this around. And then we're going to go from here. Oh, i got to select both of these. Hold on a second. Click that one. Spin around. Hold down the control key. Ooh, I keep shifting off of it. All right, so let's go select. OK, grab your blend tool, hold down the control key, get both. And, do that. and then you have to hit this check mark when you're done. Okay, that's a quick little little use of the blend. What's nice is you can do that with really any shape. Um, let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and undo this stuff. Get back to the so get back to the um, six-sided object here. We'll de we'll delete that. So you can basically create your own image that you would want to loft. Like what I'm doing to do here is add a rectangle through the middle of this. And then I'm going to add another one through the top. And I'm going to go ahead and get trim. And I'm going to trim away. I think this is a pretty handy uh, feature to have because a lot of this stuff you do need to do um, uh, blends like that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, pull this, pull this out. 
pull that piece out to about there. I'm going to go, I'll spin this. We'll go ahead and click in the middle there. We'll go to plan view. Now we're going to draw another circle, smaller one. And we're going to go ahead and spin this. We're going to click on the pull. And then we'll click on the move. We'll grab the blue. I'm going to move this out. I'm going to move it over just like we did with the six sided hexagon. Now we're going to go ahead and pan this over. Let's spin. Now we're going to loft these two, or we're going to blend these two. So what we got to do is come over here and give this some thickness to it. And we'll go ahead and select blend. We're going to click there. We're going to spin around, grab the pointer tool, hold down the control key, click there, and then we're going to hit blend. And then we're going to check, select the check mark to accept. So pretty interesting uh, piece. You know, if we wanted to draw, you know, a really fancy handle or something. This is certainly how you would do it in Design Spark. And then you can continue on with your part. You know, if you wanted to put a handle here. You can go ahead and pull that. You could uh, put a fillet on this. Go ahead and do a hole there. Okay, and we'll go ahead and spin this. And we could do the same thing here. Now that we've got our, our blend the way we want it to, grab our pan tool. We can even create another blend as long as there's a part to blend from. So we could actually take this six sided triangle, put a piece here in the middle, go ahead and pan this over, go ahead and spin, go ahead and get the move. We could move this out. What you'd have to do is once it's all selected, you have to hit fill so it becomes a solid. Then you have to pull that a little bit. Let's spin to make sure these things are away from each other. I have to pull this forward a little bit. So we'll go ahead and click on this till everything is highlighted. Just drag a marquee around it. It's quicker. Hit the move tool. Grab our blue. We're gonna pan out. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna hit the blend tool. Grab that point. Hold down the control key. You got both of them. Hit blend. And then click the check mark to accept. So basically, we just created this really strange looking part um, with really only uh, using the uh, blend, the blend feature in the Design Spark Mechanical. I don't know what this would be. I mean, to me, it looks like kind of like a motorcycle, motorcycle muffler of some kind. But you get the general idea. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. I just wanted to give you a brief overview of using the blend tool. It's pretty handy. Um, you could blend stuff like if you wanted to make a coffee cup, you could certainly blend the handle together. And then you can do a lot more uh, complex uh, models as well. Okay, uh, that's going to end the tutorial. Um, hopefully you enjoy watching and got something useful out of this. And thanks again for watching.